Take a look at race number nine on Saturday. Belmont at the Big A. It is the Belmont Oaks Invitational. It's a grade one. It's on turf. It's a mile and three sixteenths. With a purse of $500,000. I don't see a lot of pace in this race. Let's take a look at the field. Pin up Betty at 10 to 1. This horse, uh, when racing on dirt, struggled to win. The first time she tried turf at Keeneland, April of this year, she finished second, only behind by three and a half. And it stretched out a little bit more to a mile and an eight. She broke her maiden at Churchill by an impressive five lengths. Last time out in the regret, she went from last to first, winning that race by a length and a half. You gotta like the form that she's in. I don't think she's gonna have a problem getting this distance. Now she is stepping up in class, getting 10 to 1 on the one horse. Pin up Betty. Take a look at dynamic pricing at 5 to 1. Trained by Chad Brown, written by Flavian Pratt. This also has been shown increasing speed figures, including the win last time out in Edgewood at Churchill. Winning by half a length. Now she got a pretty Pretty nice pace to run into in that one. She does have a win at this racetrack. Getting 5-1 to one on a two-horse. Dynamic pricing. 10-1 to one is fun with flags. Shipping in from Europe. She won her first three races. In France. And the last time out in the Group 3 race. She finished second. She has an impressive record, and the distance is no problem for this three horse. Getting 10 to 1, fun with flags. Also at 10 to 1, it's Boo Cool, four horse. This horse has won two great stakes races, including grade 2 last year at Keeneland, and grade 2 this year at Keeneland. Last time out, she finished second in the regret stakes. She's going to need some pace to run into. You're getting 10 to 1 on the four horse, Buku. 8 to 1 is Secret Satire, written by Frankie Dottori. Sauce has a couple wins out of five races. Last time out at Epsom, well, that was a tough field she was taking on. She has a tendency to want to go forward and they, they kind of hold her back a bit. And they did that last time at Epson. They also did it a couple races back that she won. I said you ought to just let her go. Let her go. If she wants to go to the lead, let her go to the lead. Getting 8-1 to one on the 5 horse, secret satire. Especially in this race. I mean, there's not much pace in this race, so they should let her be forward. Six to one is Suggesta, trained by Chad Brown, written by I Red Ortiz. Her first race, she finished ninth at Gulfstream. Next time out, much to improve. Losing by a neck. Nicely increasing her speed figure. Race after that, Keelan, well, she broke a maiden. And he took off a Lasix in the Wonder again. She was 4-1 in that race. She won the Grade 2 Wonder again at this racetrack. I think she's going to be forward in this race. She's going to be forward in a paceless race. Hitting 6-1 to one on a 6 horse Suggesta. I will use Suggesta on my tickets. Take a look at She Feels Pretty. Two to one, trained by Cherie DeVoe. Out of four races, she's got three wins. The third, she is a grade one winner. She broke a maiden at Ellis. Five and a half furlongs. Next time out, that's when she became a grade one winner at Woodbine, winning by four and a quarter. And 
ran her in the Breeders' Cup, Juvenile Phillies Turf. She didn't do bad in that race. She finished third. It was about half a length. And off a layoff several months last time at Pimlico, she dominated that field by five and three quarters. She didn't beat much in that race. She's showing increasing speed figures. John Velasquez is aboard. The question is, can she get the distance of a mile and three sixteenths? Getting two to one on a seven hole, she feels pretty. I will use she feels pretty on my tickets. Take a look at the eight at nine and two. It's Cinderella's dream. It's the dynamic trio of Appleby, Godolphin, and William Buick. She started off winning four races in a row. Next time out, in a thousand guineas, she finished seventh in that race. Since her first start in the United States. Now she is stretching out to a mile and three sixteenths. Gotta wonder if she can get that distance. She is bred for the distance, though. Get nine to two on the eight horse. I will use the eight horse on my tickets. And to close out this competitive field of nine horses, it's Psy B. Trained by Cherie DeVoe. She broke her maiden two races back at the distance of a mile and three sixteenths. And last time out, she stumbled at the break. She finished well in that race. Finishing second, only behind by half a length. Getting 15 to 1 on this 9 horse, side B. I'm going to use her on my tickets at 15 to 1. I think this is a good field. It's a solid field. Good betting race. So these are the horses I'm using. I'm using Suggesta. She Feels Pretty. Cinderella's Dream. And side B. Also, I'm going to pick the win. I'm going to go with the six horse at six to one suggester. I think she's going to be forward in this race. She can go to lead with Irad. Set slow fractions. She could be tough to catch. Picking the six on top. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. It should be a good one. Good luck.